Hello viewers, I'm Paul Devorak, founding editor of Medical Design and Outsourcing Magazine. Thanks for joining me. Now you've probably seen teardown videos before on YouTube or here, so we're going to do a variation on the theme by taking a closer look at a few components that let you build stuff, in particular fluid circuits. Now for that, I've selected the valves and fittings from Smart Products. But you might ask, uh, why are they so special? Well, because I think their fittings are rather clever. The company offers at least four series of fittings and valves. For instance, the Series 100 are standard cartridges with styles in barbed, side seal, flanged, and others. The Series 200 are NPT fittings, and there's a mini modular 500 series. But we're going to focus on the Series 300 modular fittings for this video. For the Series 300, the company offers end fittings in barbed sizes ranging from 1 16th of an inch up to a half an inch, plus NPT sizes, and others such as the foot filter, a manual relief version, and some with smooth stems. The table here neatly lists that information. And notice that the Series 300 valves have opening pressures that range from 0.11 PSI up to 20 PSI. And the pressure ranges for the others, the 100 and 500 series, start at 0.09 PSI, it's pretty small, up to 20 PSI. Now you page through thick catalogs of fluid components that detail thousands of parts. Here's why I call this video Legos for Designers. The fittings are interchangeable and combinable. From a few fittings, I count 13, you can produce 78 different combinations. And that's what a, an online calculator tells me. This series lets users mix and match the end fittings. We have barbed fittings and one with a national pipe fitting on it. And uh, I think there's even a, a, a foot pump here. Um, any two of these can be put together for an ideal valve for a low flow, low pressure project, less than 20 PSI. Let's take a look at one end fitting as an example. For example, I think there's a quarter inch fitting, okay? The company tells me it can be made of polypropylene, nylon, ultim, ABS, and more. Now, what do you put in the middle of these things? The design incorporates a check valve cartridge, uh, this little thingy. The arrangement eliminates leak prone adapters by combining end fittings and check valves into one part. Let's see how the valve works. From this drawing, you see the pressure on the high side on the left can push the O-ring away from its seat. Pressurized fluid will escape to the right. Here's an open check valve. Now, with sufficient flow to keep it open like this, uh, it'll keep blowing. But eventually, pressure will drop and the spring will pull the O-ring back into its seat and close the valve. As with the fittings, all the valves are customizable by plastic body material, O-ring material, and opening spring pressure to meet an application. This is one of the company's cartridge check valves or pressure relief valves. O-ring materials can be Buna N, Phyton, Silicon, Fluorosilicon, and others. It's used for liquid or air, and the cartridge check valves can be used in most any mounting design. They're easily inserted into fittings, manifolds, or installed in line, right in the tubes. Standard valves for either function range from quarter inch to three quarter inch sizes, with opening pressures from 0 0.09 PSI, which is pretty low, to 20 PSI. Well, that's all for now. You can find more medical videos at medicaldesignoutsourcing.com.